In liver talk today, we're going to talk about alcoholic liver disease. Now, alcoholic liver disease is something that affects your liver if you take excessive amounts of alcohol. In fact, if you abuse alcohol. Now, I'm often asked, Dr. Soin, how is it that some people who drink so much never get their livers affected while others who haven't had so much will get liver disease? Well, there are some people who are uh, disadvantaged genetically, they are able to process alcohol less efficiently than others. So they will get affected more. Women get affected more, children get affected more, that means you know people between 15 and 25 years of age will be more easily affected with alcohol. And people who have hepatitis C or who have fatty liver disease due to obesity or diabetes will be more affected by having excessive amounts of alcohol. Now, what is a safe limit for alcohol consumption? Basically, for anybody, if you take less than 10 units of alcohol a week, and one unit equals like a glass of, a big glass of beer, a glass of sherry or glass of wine, or a shot of whiskey of 30 ml. So if you have less than 10 units a week for males and less than eight units a week for females, this would be considered a safe limit of alcohol consumption. But if you have more than this, then you can be afflicted with severe alcoholic liver disease. Now, alcoholic liver disease happens in three stages. First, alcohol causes fatty liver. Now, this stage is entirely reversible. But then, if alcohol consumption or abuse continues, then it goes into alcoholic hepatitis. Now, alcoholic hepatitis is largely reversible but some residual damage remains even if alcohol consumption is stopped. The final stage of this damage is alcoholic liver cirrhosis. Now cirrhosis simply means scarring of the liver and at this stage liver disease starts entering the phase of irreversibility. Although having said that if someone has alcoholic liver cirrhosis and they stop consuming alcohol they will have a significant improvement. I know, I know many people who carry on for the rest of their lives for 10, 15, 20 years without actually ever needing a liver transplant once they've stopped having alcohol. So the best thing you can do if you have alcoholic liver cirrhosis is to stop having alcohol. That's the best treatment. However, if the liver disease is advanced, then even stopping alcohol is not going to help and eventually this person will need a liver transplant. So please take alcohol only in moderate amounts if you must. And if you do, then don't mix your drinks. Do not have it on empty stomach. Do not ignore nutritious food, which often alcoholics do and they take alcohol in lieu of food. And that's a very bad idea. Do take other liquids like lemonade along with or after consuming alcohol. Now these are the few do's that you can practice and avoid alcoholic liver damage and the need for liver transplant.